Okay guys, I don't have two minutes to do this video, so I'm gonna have to talk kind of fast. So I just did an engine swap, and um, I was about to start the car because it's got the oil, it's got everything hooked up already. As soon as I uh, hook up the positive battery cable, I hook up the uh, negative battery cable, well, I try to, and as soon as I touch it, uh, there's so much current going to it that it just automatically welds the battery. Here, I'll show you. Uh... See, there's a negative battery terminal. Uh, as soon as I was touching it, it, it like literally melted. So uh, I have a super weird uh, electrical problem going on. And um, I saw that my fuse blew right here, 120 amp. If it'll focus, come on. Just take my word for it. The fuse is blown and it's a 120 amp fuse. I'm going uh, to go show you a wiring diagram of the vehicle now. Okay, here's the wiring diagram. There's a battery. Here's the... Oh, come on. Here's the 120 amp fuse right there. Okay, it can't be any of these other circuits because those fuses would have blown first. The only thing that it could be is the generator uh, has a short to ground or the wire to the generator has a short to ground, which is very possible that I could have pinched the harness lowering the engine into the chassis. So I'll show you how to diagnose the short to ground. Get down here. Okay, so right now I'm going to do an ohm test on my meter here. So that it's on uh, it's an auto setting ohm scale. And uh, here's the 120 amp fuse. I'm going to touch this side. Look at the scale. And it's at 0, 0.00. We're on the same cable. We're, oh, 0 0.01. Sorry. And uh, we're on the right uh, wire. So now I'm going to touch from the red lead over here. This black lead's going to go to the negative battery cable. We're going to touch that. And now look at the scale. Oh, elk. It's at a limit. So that means I don't have a short to ground on my cable. So now I'm going to check the alternator. One lead on the alternator chassis. And the other lead on the terminal here. Grab the. See that how it says uh, 0, 0.00? It should be OLK ohms. Um, the, gen the alternator is internally shorted. And uh, that's what's causing my uh, a huge amperage draw. It's pretty crazy, huh? Alright. Hope that helps somebody out there um, diagnose their electrical problem. Thanks.